Okay, so in this problem, we're told the summit of a mountain 2,450 meters above base camp is measured on a map to be 4,580 meters horizontally from the camp in a direction 32.4 degrees west of north. What are the components of the displacement vector from the camp to the summit? What is its magnitude? Choose x axis east, y axis north, and z axis up. So the first thing you should always do is draw what's going on. So uh, what I want you to imagine here is we have this camp sitting at the middle of this axis here. So we have north, east, south, and west. And so in reality, this is a 3D scenario. I want you to imagine that we're looking at it from the top down. So this is the camp looking at it from the top. And so we want to label the x-axis, this right here, to be the east, the y-axis right here to be the north, and then you can imagine it straight downwards. I can't really draw it that well, but downwards is uh, the z-axis. So basically this way is the z-axis. And so uh, you can imagine this summit is actually way higher up, but you just can't really see it. So just imagine it's really high up. And uh, yeah, so basically what we're trying to do is find the components and uh, the, the magnitude of those components. So uh, since we're working in three, uh, three dimensions here, we have uh, three directions for the components. So the three components are going to be your x component. And so since we're working with displacement, I'll just call it D. So we have displacement in the x, displacement in the y, and displacement in the z. And so uh, they want us to find these components. And so another thing you should know is we're going to label x and y and z in negative or positive. So if it's north, I'm going to say it's positive. If it's south, it's negative. Uh, if it's east, it's positive. If it's west, it's negative. And then upwards, I'm going to say is positive. Downwards, I'm going to say is negative. I can't really draw it here, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so we're going to start with the z because I believe it's the easiest to understand. So the z is going to be, uh, we're going from the camp to the summit. So the summit relative to the camp, what is the change in the z axis? So we know that the camp is at some level, and then it tells us the summit of the mountain is 2,450 meters above it. So we know up and down is going to be the Z axis. And so if we know the summit is 2,450 meters above the base camp, upwards, right above it, it's the Z axis. So DZ or the Z component of the displacement is 2,450 meters. Uh, and then you have to include the direction. So another thing to know is you basically use unit vectors when you write the direction. So I hat is for the X, J hat is for the Y, and K hat is for the Z. So this would be really 2,450 meters K hat. So this is how you would write the Z component, 2,450 uh, meters K hat. Um, and that's basically because in the Z direction, it's 2,450 meters above. So that's why it's positive. If it was below, it would be negative. But we're doing it from camp to summit. So it's going to be positive since the summit is above the uh, not below. So that's the Z component. Now let's look at the Y component. So uh, now you can just imagine it in our plane here. Uh, the Y component would be the distance here, right, in the Y direction. So from here to there. So this would be your Y component. Let me try and draw a better line there for you guys. This would be your Y component. And then in the Z would be this way. So the Z would basically be, or sorry, the X would be this way. So this is your Y, right? Labeled the Y axis. And your X is along this way, the X axis. And so what we need to try to find is that distance there. And so the way we do that is they tell us this distance right here, right? 4,580 meters, 32.4 degrees uh, west of north. So how do we do this? So I want you to imagine it as a triangle. So you see this triangle here? I'm going to redraw it like so. So all I'm doing is taking that triangle to show you guys how we find it. Let me draw this a bit better. Uh, like that, and then like that. So it's not perfect, uh, but essentially imagine it as a 90, as a 90 degree angle there. Okay, yeah. So imagine this is a 90 degree angle. And uh, we know that this angle right here is 32.4 degrees. This is 90. Uh, and then we know that this is right here, 4,580. And this is what we labeled Y and X. Since this is in the Y, this is in the X uh, directions. So what we want to find is Y and X. 
uh, the way we're going to do it is by using trig. So starting off with sine, right, you should know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so Katoa. So opposite of our angle is the x, so our angle is 32.4. Uh, the x, right, opposite over hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is this right here, the longest side. So 4,580. To solve for your x component, all you would do is just multiply both sides by this value, and you get your x. So pretty simple. It's just equal to 4,580 times the sine of 32.4. And so we know that this value x, or how far it is in the x direction, is this value right here. Uh, now I'm going to show you y. So for y direction, uh, we know that the uh, cosine of an angle, in this case 32.4, cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. So cosine is so ka, uh, so it's a over uh, the adjacent, which is y, over the hypotenuse, 4,580. Multiplying both sides, uh, you get 4,000. 580 cos of 32.4 is your y. So notice we just found our y component and our x. So the y component uh, would be the value we just found. So we know it's this much this way. And so now we want to write them as their components. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So in the x, it was this value right here. So 4,580 sine of 32.4 key mine we're in, the, uh, we're in the x so we use i had it's meters uh you can interchange these you might want to write meters first but i'm just trying to show you the component way um but notice that on our axis we're going to the left right because we're going from camp to summit so the x is pointing this way so since we're going in the negative direction we have to write negative here so uh that's your x component now for the y uh, we know the value is Right there, 4,580 cosine of 32.4. Since we're in the Y, we use J hat meters. And then look at the direction it goes in the Y. So we know it's going to go like this. So in the Y, it's upwards. In Y, or in the Y, we denoted it as positive. So we can just leave this value as it is. Uh, but yeah, so you have your, uh, your X component or your x component up here, your y component, and your z component. So those are all the components, right? So all the components of this displacement vector, d we'll call it, uh, is right here. So you have your i hat, your j hat, and your k hat. Uh, next, what we want to do is find the magnitude. The way we do that is imagining it, or the, basically the way you find the magnitude is by taking the square root of all the components squared, but add to get added together. So you would have dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared. So basically just the square of each component, add them up and square root. And that's how you get it. And so all we got to do is just plug it in now. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have d equals, and then you're going to want to plug in all of these values here. So it's going to be pretty big. So we have uh, minus 4580 sine of 32.4 squared plus 4580 cosine of 32.4 squared uh, and then keep in mind this is still in it but plus 2540 squared so all you do is just plug in each of the components of it and then square or square them add them up uh, and then yeah you basically just take the square root so that's how you do that uh, when you do this right so plug in all this stuff uh, you can simplify your components if you want so i just left them in their trig form but if you don't want to that's fine um, you will get about 5,190 meters, so about that, just rounding. Um, but yeah, so if you want the more exact value, you just plug it in yourself. Uh, you'll find something similar, but about uh, 5,190 meters, that's going to be your magnitude. So this is your answer for the magnitude. Uh, your components are going to be right here, so uh, this is your K. All right, so if you want to write the meters first, that's okay. I actually recommend doing that, so you can say like that. Um, and then these you would write 4,580 cosine of 32.4 mj. I've seen it written both uh, both ways, but just to be safe, you should actually just put the um, meters first. So generally the units go first, but uh, yeah. So just make sure you do it however your teacher wants you to. So however they specify, just make sure. 
Uh, but yeah, so your X component would be this right here. Uh, and when you do this, you'll get about negative uh, 2454 meters. So I'll just write it out for you guys. Uh, and then this right here will be equal to 3867 meters. And then obviously your Z is still tw uh, 2450 meters. So your X and Z are pretty similar. Uh, but yeah, so keep in mind, I didn't write the, the unit vector there, but if you want to write it in, I was just giving you what the values were. Uh, but yeah, so this would be M or yeah, so M I had, this would be M J had, and then this is still right. Uh, but yeah, so those are going to be your answers if they wanted, right? You can also write this, uh, right as just all of them added up. So they might be asking for that too, or just the components by themselves. Uh, it would just be written as minus two. Uh, minus 2454m i had plus and you just add up all the components m j had plus 254 or sorry 2450 uh, m k had so this would be it in component form right i just had all the components listed out individually right here but this would be it in component form um yeah, and then this would be it as its magnitude, this value right here. So this would be your D. Uh, so this is magnitude, and then this is the component form. Uh, but yeah, so those are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this video useful.